Are CEO like Mark Zuckerberg right? Will AI really replace software engineers? Maybe even by 2025? You hear it on the terms and ask the software engineers who builds and scales systems at TikTok, Amazon, and Microsoft. I'm telling you, never. In these videos, I will tell you exactly why AI won't take our job. I will also explain what AI really means for developers and why the stories people are telling is completely wrong. Look, people are excited about AI. We see AI writing computer code. News headline love to say programmers won't have jobs soon. This makes people worry, right? You might ask, is my job over? What part of my work are safe? How do I change to get a job? I did not just read about it. I seen it myself at my jobs. At TikTok, I work on app for a lot of people. At Amazon, I work on important message systems. At Microsoft, I help make computer safety stronger. My job, like most programmers, was so much more than just writing lines of code. And that is the main point everyone seems to miss. We have seen time like this before. Remember years ago, when people worried that jobs won't be sent to another country. But that didn't happen like people thought. This AI wave is strong. But I'm going to share what I learned from my actual work, looking past just the code, to the real jobs of building softwares, a size that people often miss. So let's show you why this idea is wrong, step by step. OK, let's be clear. AI can write some code. Tool like copilots are good at writing the easy starting part of the code. But here is the important difference most people miss. Writing the code is often the easiest part of the job. Think about the real project. It is hardly even starts with perfect instructions. Usually it starts with just an idea from what a company wants. And sometimes the idea isn't very clear. Sometimes different groups in a company want different things that do not agree. I remember at TikTok, one group want ads that people click right away. Another group want people to like using TikTok for a long time and not getting tired of ads. My job is not just writing code. It's worth to help people talking, figuring out the good and best sides of each idea, such as way to build it, and then plans and build the computer programs. Can you ask an AI to handle talking with all those groups and finding a smart balance? No way! Programming is about turning unclear ideas from people into exact instructions for our computers. This means talking a lot, making things clear, say when the idea is too hard and will not work, explain computer stuff to people that are not developers, and writing down decisions. This means system thinking. That means thinking about how all the parts of a big computer's programs work together. You have to guess how your work will affect other parts later. You have to make ways for different computer programs to talk to each other. You are always making smart choice. Should I make it fast or easy to fix later? Should I build it quickly or make it strong and hard to break? You choose tools that work well now and for the future. These are not just code problems. They are tricky problems involving people and computers. They need understandings, experience, talking, and thinking ahead. Programming isn't just typing code. It is problem solving in the world of people, business rules, and computers. AI has a hard time with things that are not clear. It doesn't understand all the details of how a company works, all the things people believe but do not say. It doesn't understand all the details of how a company works, all the things people believe but do not say. A struggle with the people part. Working together, agree on what to build, understanding how people act in a group. That is where humans programmers cannot be replaced. What I saw again and again at these top companies is that writing the code is often the last and sometimes simplest step. A lot of thinking, planning, and talking come first. Speaking of the part that the jobs are not just coding, I'm curious, what is one part of your works are the programmers that use zero code but taking up a lot of your brain's power? Let me know your biggest ones down in the comments below. I would love to see what people say. All right, moving on from people and planning, let's talk about another huge area where AI is not good enough. Some things most developers know really well. 
but the AI excitement ignore. Oh, messy code. Some people call it technical debt or legacy code. This is like an old house needs a lot of repair. Almost every big company, especially places like Amazon and Microsoft, have computer programming built years, even decades ago. These are not nice, clear programs. They are often stuck with web, mixed with old tool, old way of doing things, a lot of quick fix edits over time, and often no good instructions explaining how they work. Imagine all code written 10 years ago. The tools you did then are not support anymore. There is no test to check if it works right. The people who wrote it doesn't work there anymore. I have seen this. Your work is to update it and connect it to something new. An AI might be able to read the old code. Maybe it can even suggest how to change it line by line for a newer tool. But cannot understand the important company rule hidden inside the old code that nobody wrote down. Can it figure out the history where something strange was done way back then? Maybe it's to fix the problems from a system that doesn't even exist anymore. Can it tell you the dangers of changing one part? Maybe that part secretly connects to another program used for important money reports. It needs serious detective work. I call it code archaeologies, like digging up old things and understand them. You look through old notes from programmers, maybe five people who worked there a long time, running careful tests to see how things work together, even build temporary support just to safely test the old systems. It takes a gut to feelings about where things may break and understanding how everything is linked together. AI doesn't know the history. It cannot figure out the risk like the human can. It doesn't understand the secret company's rule hidden in the code. Asking an AI to change important old code without understanding, this would be very dangerous. It may look okay at first, but cause a huge crash weeks later in the ways that AI never thought of. This is funny, the jobs programmers most want to help with, like safely fixing the old and breakable code, is something AI is bad at. Because it doesn't understand the real world, or the whole big picture. Believe me, if AI could safely fix years of old code overnight, companies would use it instantly. But the truth is, it needs smart human decisions, being careful and understanding the whole system. So, if AI isn't replaced programmers, what is its job? Because it is changing things and this is a very powerful new tool. Thinking back, programming has always changed. We learn new things when the Swift language replaced the older ones for iPhone. We learn new ways to package and to run programs with tools like Docker and Kubernetes. We learn new ways to handle computer tasks that have to wait for things. AI is the next big change in our toolbox, not the end of programmers. Tools like GitHub Copilot, Cursors, and others do help us work faster. They are great at writing boring starting code, like setting up file or simple tasks. They can suggest code as you type. They can even help change code from one programming language to another, or writing first draft of test. At TikTok, we use special tool to help check program speed or spice common mistakes in a huge amount of computer's message. Job that takes humans a long time. But this tool helped us. They didn't replace the engineers who figured out what the result meant, found the real problems, and planned the fix. Think of AI like super fast helpers or copilot. Us can do many boring jobs you do over and over. This frees us to focus on the harder stuff, like planning the big pictures of a program, solving new and tricky problems no one has solved before, making plans for how programs will work in the future. You need to know what to ask the AI. Asking AI questions in a smart way is a new skill. You need to check work carefully. AI can make code that look okay, but it's slow, unsafe, and secretly wrong. Sometimes AI even makes things up. You need to know how to put the AI code into your program correctly and fix it when it makes mistakes. So, the need for the programmers isn't going anyway. The job is changing. Maybe less time typing basic code, more time planning, checking work carefully, 
putting things together and guide this powerful new tool. I see the programmer's jobs becoming more important, focus on planning and big picture thinking. But even beyond the computer part, there are human things AI just cannot copy. These things make sure programmers will still be needed. First, the real imaginations and new ideas. Building software isn't just using old trick. It's often mean finding brand new way to fix hard problems. Sometimes problems no one has seen before. AI learn from the old information. It's good at mixing old ideas together, but it struggles with the totally new thinking needed for their big inventions. When we have top problems, making things fast for millions of users at TikTok, or planning a new safety ideas on Microsoft. The answer often comes from people's brainstorming together, sharing ideas from different places. And that special human smartness that connects ideas in a new way. This is about making a solution that is smart, fast, and easy to fix later. That needs a good test, smart choice, and imaginations AI don't have. Second is working together and teaching each other. Making a big software is almost never done alone. This means working closely with others. We learn by checking each other code, coding together, arguing about the best ways to building things, teaching new programmers and learnings from experience one. This ways people work together, learnings from each other, giving helpful feedback, sharing knowledge, help people get better and build strong programs using many ideas. AI cannot join meetings, understand how people in a group feel, and teach new developers with care and personalized help. Finally, and maybe most important, it does we humans know how to change. The whole world of computers is about constant change. Think about the big shift from huge old computers to PC nowadays, from planning everything first to being flexible like agile methodologies, from building big programs to many small ones like microservice from computers to the clouds. Programmers did not just survive this change, we have made them happen. Our main skills isn't just knowing one programming language, it is being able to learn the next language, the next big idea. Our job is to keep learning. The ability to change is our greatest skills. AI can follow its instructions based on what it learned, but it doesn't have real imaginations. This is not smart about working with people, and this cannot match our amazing abilities to keep learning and changing as the new technologies appear. Your imaginations, your skill as working with others, and your ability to change are your ultimate job security. My whole career has been about learning the next thing. AI is just the latest next thing. We need to learn how to use well. Not some things to fear will replace human smartness. So, the worry about AI's replacing programmers is mostly wrong. The real story isn't replacements, this is about changing and getting better. AI is a powerful tool changing how we work. It pushes us to do more planning, thinking about the big pictures, and use our creativity while we guide the AI. And to help you study using AI power right away, I want to give you my free guide. 50 powerful ChatGPT prompts for programmers and tech professionals. These are ready to use questions. You can ask AIs to help you work faster, thinking ideas, get code examples, and much more. Thinking of us as getting the superpowers for your computer work. Getting your free copies using the link in the description below. Now, learning to use these tools and change with the times is important. But this is all starts with having the strong basic skills. If you are just starting out and want to make sure your main skills are solid as things change, knowing the right way to learn programming is more important than ever. Trying to learn everything all at once, especially now, can feel too much and waste your time. That is why I make the video explaining exactly how I would learn web development if I could start over. Let's focus on basic things that is really matters for building strong careers that last. So click on the videos right here on the screen now to get the smart plan. It is solely based on what you need to handle whatever's come next, including AI.
quick notes and I will see you there.